Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ujbo. Um, if you don't know me, I'm a rising second year medical student. Um, and if you do know me, which means you've been watching my videos, then you know that I have not posted uh, a video in uh, a little less than a year. So we're almost approaching a year. <laughs> so I wanted to, I've been wanting to make a YouTube video for a very long time. Um, I did not abandon this channel, but I just never came around to. I kept telling myself that I did not have time, but really the fact is I did not make time. And so that's why right now, uh, I am making the time to make this video and I'm going to get this published, uh, pushed out right after I make it. Um, so yeah. So the purpose of this video is really to kind of go ahead and do a couple of things. One, I wanted to go ahead and recap what I've been up to, uh, cause obviously I was kind of MIA for over a year or for a year. Uh, and so I wanted to recap what I've been up to in terms of school. Um, in addition to that, I guess I just had a couple other things to say and then I wanted to conclude off of, uh, on the note of what my plans, future plans for this channel are. So first things first, obviously I've been in med school, so I overestimated the amount of time that I would have to dedicate to YouTube and making videos. Clearly I overestimated because I kept saying uh, to you guys, if you remember that I was gonna make videos every week, that did not happen. Um, so yeah, my school schedule has basically been just going through the Oregon systems, two in the fall, two in the spring. We went through, um, foundations, biochemistry, anatomy, um, what else? We went through a little component with the principles of neoplasms. Then we went through hematology, microbiology, pharmacology, neuroanatomy, neurology, psychiatry, GI, endocrinology. That was basically all jam-packed in the first year. So as you can see, it was pretty hectic. Um, this upcoming second year, we're gonna go ahead and finish off with two organ systems at the fall, and those are gonna be cardio, renal, palm, and then we're gonna have uh, derm, so musculoskeletal, and you know, yeah, that's it basically. And then the following semester, we start off with a small pass-fill block, go into dedicated, take our boards, um, and we're off to rotation. So that's basically kind of my school schedule. Um, now, in addition to that, I've been doing some other things, such as research, you know, clearly, um, uh, well, first things first, uh, I do prioritize YouTube, but the thing is I have other things that kind of trump YouTube that kind of go before it in terms of my priority lists. So that's why um, I haven't really gotten around to making a YouTube video. Um, so right now, in the present time, uh, I'm on summer break, as you can probably tell by all the uh, at school YouTubers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm on summer break. Um, I'm doing research during this time. Um, and so obviously uh, that's uh, still been pretty busy, really busy. But um, it's much easier to carve out some time to make a video, and so that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Um, so before I move any further, I wanted to say thank you so much to my new subscribers. I've seen uh, that we've been kind of amassing a lot of subscribers every month, even after I stopped making videos, which is phenomenal. The subscriber count and the view counts, they don't really matter to me because, you know, as I said before, the purpose of this channel is not for me to make it big or for this to become a big YouTube channel. It's for me to share what I know with you guys to help you guys out in some way or form. Um, but the fact that, you know, a lot of people are subscribing, a lot of people are commenting, um, sending me messages, and a number of you have sent me messages, DMs, and emails, it means a lot. It means, you know, you guys are getting some value from this. And uh, a lot of you guys have sent, sent some very nice comments uh, about how the videos have been helpful. Um, and I really appreciate that. It really means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for all your continued support. Um, and yeah, I, it really means a lot. On that note as well, I know that uh, I've gotten back to as many people as I could. However, I know some people messaged me and sent me emails, especially during the school year, and I did not get back to you. Um, usually in the, uh, if, you know, if I was in an exam week or had a lot going on a particular week, uh, especially if it was an exam week, um, I, I, I would not really respond any, to any messages or uh, emails uh, that, that were not school related. Um, and after that, I would usually end up just going back into a new grind for the next block and uh, I would not end up replying. And so uh, I still urge you guys, if you wanna reach out, you have any questions, just feel free to reach out via DM, emails, and I will get back to you. If I don't get back in a day or two, please just shoot me another message, shoot me another email. I will see it, it'll be bumped back up. I will see it and I will make sure to get back. Uh, get back to you guys because uh, I'm here as a resource. I'm here to help out in any way that I can. Um, I know that, you know, especially for those of you guys who are pre-meds applying to med school, it's a difficult process, um, but I'm here as a resource. So please feel free to use me um, and uh, keep bugging me. If, if I don't reply, just keep bugging me and I will I will definitely get back to you guys. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's with regards to, I guess, uh, uh, reaching out. Um, 
In addition to that, I want to now uh, say good luck to those of you guys who are starting med school this upcoming fall. Um, so, you know, it's a huge achievement. Getting accepted to even one medical school is a huge achievement in and of itself, and that is phenomenal. So you guys need to be really proud of yourselves. Congratulations. Um, the best of luck. Um, if there's anything that I can help with in terms of uh, questions before starting med school, please let me know. Um, it can be a little bit, of, it can be an exciting time, but I remember that as I was getting closer and closer to the start of med school, I was actually a little uh, anxious, as you may, uh, as you can actually see <laughs> from that uh, one of the videos that I posted before med school started. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or something, please feel free to reach out and I'd be more than happy to talk and chat and uh, help out in any way that I can. Um, to those of you guys who are applying to med school this year um, or who, who may be reapplying, I wish you the best of luck. Um, it's not an easy process, but um, it is worth it, right? Uh, it is worth it, uh, especially if this is something that you, you know you guys truly want to do. And you know, if you're watching this video, if you're applying to med school, it's something you truly want to do. Uh, it is worth it, and you know, you guys should definitely keep pushing. Um, I'm here, I'm here to support you. There's a lot of resources out there, um, obviously, not just me, but um, I'm also available as an additional resource, as a as a kind of a human <laughs> resource, I guess. So uh, I'm willing to talk to you guys, help you guys out in any way that I can to support you. Um, but I wish you the best of luck. Um, hopefully some of the other videos I made on this channel can help out. I know a lot of the content that I've made so far uh, is kind of tackling, I know I made a good playlist for the MCAT, um, a few videos on applying to med school, and like I think two on Anki. My plan was to go ahead and make more Anki videos, but honestly my plan was to make uh, more videos on like a lot of different topics. Uh, I had a whole schedule and list planned out. Um, clearly that didn't happen. Um, but uh, yeah, if there's anything I can do to help you guys out who are applying, please let me know. Um, and yeah, so I guess on that note, um, I can talk about next steps and kind of some random stuff. So in terms of what I think the channel is going to be doing next, I'm not sure. I want it to be upfront and honest. I'm not sure. The reason why I'm making this video is because I really wanted to make another YouTube video. I haven't made one in <laughs> such a long time. I've really been wanting to make one. It really is fun to kind of do this. Um, so what I've been thinking is, obviously, uh, in my previous videos, as you can see, there was uh, some video editing involved because I uh, learned Final Cut Pro and I tried to uh, do some A-roll and B-roll. Clearly, that takes some time. It actually takes a lot of time. <laughs> I, I went through Ali Abdullah's uh, course on Final Cut Pro uh, on Skillshare to kind of get proficient. Uh, I don't know if I can say proficient. Um, there's a lot of a better way people a lot of people who are much better at, than me at editing and stuff but um, I like to think that I got fairly proficient it was fun to kind of learn something new uh, I don't think uh, I have those same skills uh, obviously you don't um, you're not gonna completely forget if I open up Final Cut Pro I can probably get back into it but it takes a lot of time that's the main thing and so my thinking was I'm not gonna do editing I'm not gonna do a roll b roll anymore I'm just gonna try to keep these as you know as honest conversations and just shoot out these videos It'll help me make videos a lot more quickly uh, with no no stress or burden of you know focusing on video production. That's kind of the main intention behind why I learned video editing and all that. I wanted my video production quality to be good because I thought no one's gonna watch my videos if they don't at least, you know, because there's so many other YouTubers out there, especially med school YouTubers. Why would anyone want to watch my videos? Um, and so I thought, you know, I, I really need to try to stamp, set myself apart and Honestly, I don't know who my, my, the videos I've edited have set myself apart. I don't know if, how great their editing there is, but um, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make videos to kind of communicate with you guys. There's people, there's people subscribed, there's people watching my videos. Um, so it makes sense for me to try to continue making videos. And even if there's no editing or whatnot, the content of the video really comes from the what I'm talking, right? Well, what I'm sharing with you guys. I don't really think it comes from the video production and stuff. Yeah. Sure, that's the case for a lot of larger YouTube uh, YouTubers and larger a lot of other uh, larger YouTube channels. But for me, it's not the purpose. It's not the goal, right? Each person has different goals. My goal for this YouTube channel is not the same as it is for other people. And so, I don't really think I'm going to spend too much time doing video editing. Even this video, I don't plan on editing this. I'm, I'm just I'm recording this right now. On my computer, I'm not even using my iPhone. Uh, for my other videos, I would make sure I was using the iPhone, a very specific app, all that good stuff. I'm not doing any of that. This is right off my computer, and I'm going to go and upload this right after it's done. So, um, moving forward, I don't know how consistent the schedule is going to be, but I do want to continue making videos. Uh, it's fun for me, and I think it is a great way to kind of continue sharing what I'm learning in the process. Um, so yeah, I guess another thing I wanted to end off on was, um, you know. I, <laughs> Time flew, right? I finished one year of med school, um, and uh, I, I don't want to say I'm, I don't want to share uh, 
lessons learned after one year of med school, because those of you guys who are pre-med who are watching my videos, you're going to find out for yourself, because you're all going to go to med school, and you're all going to see it for yourself. But um, I think one thing that I wanted to share with you guys uh, that I, I kind of one of the major things that I learned, right, outside of the hustle and bustle of going to class, um, you know, outside the hustle and bustle of going to class and um, doing research, outside of all of this, one thing that kind of stood out to me is the value of time. And I guess that's, you know, kind of what I want to, I think, I think I've talked about time before too, but time is really short guys. Um, as I look back, uh, it seems like yesterday that I made my YouTube, uh, that I made my channel, that I made my last video about uh, how anxious I was before med school started, and then one whole year of med school went by. And um, that's kind of how time's gonna fly by. For those of you guys who are applying, you're gonna get in. If not this cycle, next cycle, you're gonna get in. If you're persistent, you're gonna keep pushing, you're gonna get in. Life's gonna keep moving forward. Um, you know, a lot of the people watching my channel are in their 20s, and especially when we're in college and in an undergrad, we're focused on only like two things, right? Um, I'm simplifying it obviously, but um, one, and you know, we should focus on having fun. <laughs> and then second is obviously, you know, net, what's next, right? You know, if you're gonna go off with, the, you know, you're trying to work right out of college, you're trying to work. If you're trying to go to grad school, you're trying to go to grad school. If there's something else you wanna pursue, it's that. And you know, for those of us who uh, move on to, you know, work life or grad school, at that point, at that stage, right after college, right? Focused on your, Focus on your career, right? You're focused on uh, making the best of your career, making the most of your career, and uh, you're trying to set yourself up for your, you know, rest of your life, right? And, you know, when we're in our 20s, we're kind of in this hustle bustle. We're just, you know, we're running, we're running, we're running, you know, uh, whether it's having fun, or whether it's, you know, working hard, we're, we're running. We don't really think about our 30s, our 40s, rest of our life. We don't really think about it in context. I think the main thing that kind of uh, brought this out for me is um, I think I, f I took for granted the amount of time I had with my family, with, um, with people that I love. Uh, I think I really took it for granted. Uh, time is very really, uh, mysterious, uh, especially when you look back on it, right? Uh, but I think I definitely took it for granted because, you know, right now, uh, even if I want to spend a certain amount of time with my family, I don't really get the opportunity to. Even if I want to talk to my uh, you know, you know uh, friends or whatever, like, I mean, sure, I can keep in touch, but it's, it's not the same as before, right? It's not the same as an undergrad where, you know, we're hanging out, uh, you know, you and your gang is hanging out at, you know, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., studying or goofing off. It's not the same. It, it, life changes. Life keeps moving on. Um, and, you know, people keep moving on, you know. You're going to have, uh, just as the time keeps changing and you keep running, um, you're going to keep getting further and further in your life and uh, you're going to leave people behind and you're going to not have enough time to spend with those that you love and those people who are still there and um i, I think I, I really i took it for granted at least you know personally i think i really took time for granted and i guess the reason i'm sharing this with you guys is uh, a lot of those who, a, lot, a lot of the a lot of you guys who are watching my videos are uh, kind of watching for you know advice or something like that a lot of you guys are pre-med and so you know I guess I'm telling you guys this because, you know, before med school and stuff starts, because, you know, once it starts, it's really going to get busy, guys. It's really going to get busy. And, you know, yeah, you can make time for, you know, your family and loved ones, but it's less than any time you had before. Don't take it for granted. Um, cherish and value every single moment as best as you can. Um, uh, it's uh, much easier said than done, I think, because um, I'm able to say this in retrospect. I'm looking back and I'm feeling this way. Maybe in a year from now, uh, maybe, you know, right after they make this video for the next year, maybe I'm still not spending uh, the type uh, amount of time, the type of uh, whatever time that I do have in a, in a meaningful way. Maybe a year from now I'll make another video and I'm going to be like, I still took it for granted, right? So we can never, we can never maximize our time to our heart's content. It's never possible. We can only strive to, you know, uh, strive to kind of go towards that. Um, that's all I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm not trying to make you guys, or, or I'm not trying to suggest you guys do something. What I'm trying to tell you guys is to try to keep that in, in the back of your mind. Uh, keep keep everything in, in, in a certain frame of reference and context and think about it that way. Um, because, you know, after a certain point, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to be butchering the name of this YouTube channel. Uh, it's a very big YouTube channel. It's Kors Kassat or something like that. Uh, they made a video uh, recently. It was about how we are at the tail end of our time that we can spend with our family. Um, 
And if you think about it, it's true, right? Once we go to college, we move out of the house. We see our parents every break. After college, if you're working, if you're out of the house, you're out of the house, right? The, the breaks go down. Because in college, we get winter break for a month, summer for like a few months, you know. But, you know, you get Thanksgiving. It's not the case when you're working. When you're in grad school, it goes down even, you know, it, it's, it just, your time is going to keep going down and down and down. If you really look at it, we have the, we are now spending the last 5 to 10% of our time with our loved ones and, and you know, those around us. And uh, it's, uh, it's not easy to kind of put into context right now in this moment. Like even as I'm telling you guys this, that's not, it's also morbid to think that way, right? But uh, it's important to kind of keep it in the back of our minds that, you know, some of the, some of the moments that we're spending with people, it, it, those are gonna be some of our last moments with those people. And we never know when those moments are gonna be. So try to make the most of every, uh, every interaction and you know, the, that you have with your family and loved ones. The time is the one thing that I keep coming back to. I'm like, I, I, I look at the clock and I'm like, shit, time just flew. Whether it's a day, a week, months, years, because I'm telling you, when I started med school, first week was I was anxious. It was long, and I was like, "Oh my God, one year is over. Look at that. That's just how life is." Um, I'm only bringing up myself as an example because it's uh, it's how every aspect of uh, life works, regardless of what field you're in. Um, you know, you're not gonna the loved ones that you have right now, the people that you love. You may have them right now. In a year from now, they may not be there anymore for one reason or the other. Um, and, uh, so just keep that, in, just keep that in mind, um, help to kind of guide your decisions in what way, in, in you know, whatever, uh, way it's going to guide them. Nothing, I'm not saying something needs to change drastically, but I'm just saying, keep that in the back of your mind. Um, it'll give you peace of mind to know that, you know, at least you considered it, you know, at least you thought about stuff like that. Um, and, um, uh, inevitably it's going to allow you to make the most of the moments that you do get to spend with your family and loved ones. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, this video got much longer than it uh, should have been. <laughs> Sorry about that. But as always, guys, I'm here as a resource. Please feel free to reach out. DM, email, I will get back to you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've watched until now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Um, and uh, I wish you guys the best of luck in whatever you do. Until next time, uh, take care.